Hello again, everybody. This is Derek, and I am coming back at you with another Wargaming and Miniature video. In today's video, we're continuing on with our store news updates. Uh, today is November 27th, uh, Monday, and uh, if you've never been to any of the store news updates, what I try to do is like I try to put out a weekly update. Uh, for my customers from my eBay store uh, and my and my work tables, but mainly it focuses on store related items like what kind of product I got in, what kind of projects that I'm working on that um, maybe some commissions or uh, what kind of supplies I got in for my work uh, and like what kind of like new miniatures things like this. And then I also touch on news like sales and things like that. Okay, so this, uh, so I got a list up here. Uh, let's start talking about what have I finished? Well, again, I have not finished anything. I'm still currently chugging along, working on uh, this Napoleonic French commission for a customer. Uh, so they're not, they're not finished. Uh, and I will be working on them later this afternoon uh, on, at, at during my Wargaming weekly videos that we do each week. Uh, I have one coming up this afternoon. Check it out. It should be at, actually, it starts at 10 a.m., I think, Central Time. Okay, so um, let's talk about what kind of supplies I got in. Okay, well, I did actually get a couple of pieces of supply. Not nothing too e exaggerating or nothing too exciting, but um, as you know, I've been using this to my. Uh, okay, the brightness on my camera or my light is just way too high. All right, so I had to fix the camera a little bit because I noticed everything was a little washed out. So uh, my bright lights on my on my ugly face caused everything to be washed out. But I did get some supplies in. Now I think I might uh, might have shown you that I was assembling these Napoleonic figures using this Tamaya Quick Set glue, and it was starting to frustrate me a little bit. In that um, works great. But it, I would have to cake it on um, because it dried so quickly that there was never any glue. Uh, but that's not how you're supposed to use it, right? You're supposed to press two pieces together and then let the capillary action get the glue to go down inside the seams. But so, there, are, there are times that you've got to put something together and then go in, in and use capillary action. So I needed to like maybe put glue like in a neck specifically. Like I would like I would put glue in the neck and then I would try to put the head in. But by the time I put the glue in and then I reach down and grab the head to put it on the neck, it was already dry. So I was that quick set is actually according to its bottle, it is quick setting. Okay, so I got another bottle in. Uh, this time it is not quick setting. It's just your standard glue, right? And, you know, you got light green, dark green. Uh, the quick setting is like 80% used. So I was going to need some new glue anyway. So I went ahead and got this. Um, and then something was, while I was shopping for this, I saw that there was a, a variety of different glues specifically for ABS. Um, Tamaya makes some, some other companies make some. And I thought I'd branch out a little bit and grab some Plastruck uh, Plastic Weld General Person purpose plastic solvent and on on the bottle it says abs styrene boolean nail or whatever that is an acrylic um 
and it and looking on the inside of the bottle it's got a brush right these have like these little micro brushes this is a pretty thick brush right so it might be one of those you're brushing on the edges of the model and then you stick it together that's kind of, that's probably what that is so i'm i'm excited to use it i'm excited to test it against some other uh plastic kits that i have that are abs specifically the rubicon uh okay so but that's going to be a con uh, content of a future video but i also got some boxes in um i found a i found a box company that was i needed some really tiny boxes right not not that big, but i have some uh six by fours and so they're about they're about this big and they're two inches tall and it's really good to put one or two squads of infantry in that box and then ship it out and i sell my infantry by the squad usually and so one of those little boxes works really good for the squad and i'll send it off well i started to get low i only had like 10 left so i so i went shopping and i found this box company that makes six by four by I think it's two and a half or three I mean it's a little bit taller which is perfectly fine and they're white they're not brown like all my other boxes so these are they're very clean looking right um like a like a card box um I didn't specifically need that i don't care if it's brown or not but it just just as an added bonus they look really clean so i might order more boxes from them the price seemed to be really good okay what else did i get uh oh i also have some more boxes coming in uh they haven't gotten here yet but they are going to be bigger boxes like 12 by nines by like three or four inches deep specifically for uh my victrix kits because uh those bags the victrix models are really big bags and you got to have something big to put them in uh, luckily i had some boxes like that already that i was planning on using for books but uh i've been shipping all my books out in bubble wrap bubble mailers so i haven't been needing those so I decided just to start putting my Victrix in them. I got a couple over there that need to go out today. Okay, so what else? Um, I've got I've got a couple of orders f out, um, specifically V and V. As everyone knows, if you've been watching my channel, you know that I've got a V and V order out. And this V and V order, um, it's been a few weeks, so I was very concerned. Not very, but I've been starting to become concerned because I know it's coming from the Ukraine. You know, not the Ukraine, but Ukraine. And uh, and they're in the middle of a war. So, um, <clears throat> so I had a little concern there. So I contacted the guys and they said that they shipped it out on the 18th, right? They gave me a tracking number. And I consulted with the Postal Service, and it verifies that it has already been received and shipped through Kiev. Um, and so now I'm, and that was on the 18th of November. That's um, not too long ago, because uh, I ordered it like on the 30th of November or something like that, or October so a couple of weeks later they shipped it out it went through Kiev on the 18th which is about nine days ago so um so yeah I'm looking forward to maybe in a week or so maybe receiving that VNV order so I'm excited uh, so it's on the way I got a tracking number I can follow it um, in addition to that um, AK AK Interactive is having a sale uh, today, Cyber Monday, and their sale, 20% uh, off everything in their store. So I went to uh, the AK store and I ordered some colors of paints that I don't have. Um, 
because uh, as an example, like they've got this uh, German field gray right here that um, I'm, I like it, but it's just too gray. And then I noticed on their, um, on their website, they've got like four different field grays. And one of them is field gray, gray uniform. And another one is field gray, green uniform. And I like the field gray green uniforms best. So that's now I can use the field gray gray for like pants and then field gray green for like jackets and hats. And it would be it would be perfect. Right. So I ordered one of those. I also ordered some flesh. The, um, not that I need any flesh. I've got like five different things of flesh, but they just none of them have that. Um, Je ne sais quoi, you know, they just, so I ordered, it wasn't medium flesh because their medium flesh looked a little dark. And I understand this is the problem. I understand that looking at the website, uh, the color palette or whatever on the website is never exactly what you get. So it's kind of like hit or miss on if, if you find a color, stick to it. Um, the, like a uh, Vallejo flat flesh is actually a really good color. I've been using it, but it it's just a little too orange, and I need something a little more pink. So um, I tried the Barbarian flesh from from Army Painter, and it's just a little too rustic. So I needed something just a little bit more. A little some, something, a little some, some, no, a little something more gentle because when I put, I need it to be lighter and pinker so that when I put my flesh washes on there, it'll bring it to the exact color that I want. So I looked around and they had this one flesh. I don't even remember what I ordered, but it was called vibrant flesh because they had sunny flesh. It was just too white. And then they had flesh highlight and light flesh, dark flesh, uh, suntan flesh. They had a bunch of flesh, but there was one called Vibrant, I think. And so, either way, that's what I ordered. And then I'll show it when it comes in. And then I ordered a couple of paint sets. Um, American, maybe it was American. Maybe it was Russian infantry set and maybe a German infantry set. I don't know. A couple of sets of paints. I ordered those in, uh, plus a few other things. I looked at I looked at the the um, terrain textures, and I didn't see anything in there that was new and exciting. Uh, plus, I prefer the Vallejo textures because the way the bottle seals uh, the. AK probably makes the best water, but it just doesn't seal right. Um, okay, so I ordered some AK, just so you know. And uh, now products on the website, I did add all my spare Perry models. Uh, I had a bunch of World War II models that I was, I was saving to do for the store like paint them up and put them on the store as painted miniatures but again i figured since i have them i might as well just post them on the store and then if i get around to painting them i can pull them off of the store and just paint them so i've decided that anytime i get something in that i'm planning on painting i'm just going to put on the store uh and that way <clears throat> um if it sells, it sells, and then if, and then later on, I can I can grab it and and paint it. Uh, okay, what else? Uh, the French Commission I'm still working on. Uh, this is this is stuff that I'm working on, and my late Republican Romans Romans are just sitting on the shelf waiting to go. Uh, what else we got? Sales. Okay, so this is this is this is a, a important message. Um, I hope you I hope you guys hear this and understand this this news update that i'm doing right now 
I'm doing it because I have an eBay store, right? Where you can go and pick up miniatures, models, um, you know, uh, terrain, whatever, right? And if that's your jam, right, and you're watching this video and you're into modeling and you're looking for good deals, uh, first of all, Wargaming and Miniature always has the best prices. Um, I challenge you to find someone with better prices. Uh, but if not, it happens, you know. But uh, I also put out these uh, newsletters on through the eBay newsletter um, software, right? Uh, as, as a store owner in, on eBay, I can send out these store newsletters. They only go to people that either have purchased from me in the past or in, in recent past. It's usually like 90 days or 180 days or something like that. It's If you've purchased from me in the last 90 days or if you actively have subscribed to my store then you will receive or if you're following me i think following subscribed and recent customer all get the newsletter right and and the newsletters i'll tell you right now they're only one paragraph or one sentence my newsletters are not extensive i don't go into like a million different things and i don't talk about bs bsery right i just say hey this is the sale we got going on it's going on from this time to this time check it out that's it and uh right currently right now i've got a 10 percent off everything in the store that is built or painted so if there is a building or some orcs or some skeletons or some napoleonic figures or some World War II figures, or old D and D models, or 15 millimeter World War II, or whatever. If it's built and painted, I should say built or painted, then uh, you'll get 10 percent off, right? Okay, so that's been going on for a while, and it's going to end on the 8th of December. So if you want to take advantage of that, um, everything is 10 percent off if it's painted or built but if you're looking for brand new models there's no sale so like if you buy some old glory or if you buy some um oath oathmark miniatures or something like that it's it's not going to be a sale now knowing that this previous weekend was the black friday weekend and today is cyber monday but uh i wanted to have a sale through the weekend right and but i didn't think about it until maybe wednesday or th actually i didn't think about it until thursday so i was like rushing to get this sale out um it because i didn't think about it and it, you know I I, I I i screwed the pooch so i said okay let's make this sale what kind of sale do i want i'm just gonna put everything on sale you know i'm just gonna make it a massive sale everything was 25 percent off and then I, uh, I said, well, how long do I want this to last? Well, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, you know, I'm, I want it to be the whole weekend. So I said, uh, I put it in the little eBay mechanical thing. Hey, we're going to have a sale, blah, blah, blah. And then I said, okay, now who's going to know about this sale? Nobody, right? So, because I don't make these, uh, store news updates until like Sunday or Monday and it'll be too late. So I said, okay, let's just put it out to my store subscribers and my previous, you know, basically the people that eBay send my newsletter to. I put up a newsletter thing saying, hey, I got this flash sale, 25% off everything. And uh, so if you're a customer of mine, if you like my, my uh, or, if you, or if you like the stuff I'm doing, make sure, this is, this is the point I'm trying to get to. <laughs> it took me a while to beat around the bush to get to it. Make sure that you subscribe to my store on eBay because what that means is you'll receive notification whenever I put a newsletter out. And I always put a newsletter out when I'm getting ready to start a sale or when a sale just starts. And 
Also, I would recommend that you uh, follow me on X because uh, what I will do maybe once a month or something like that. I'll, I mean, it's it's not like it's a daily feed or anything, but once once in a while, I'll get on there and I'll put something on there like, oh, check this French miniature out I just did, or uh, check out this this army that I'm that I'm building or something like that. But usually it's, hey, we got a sale, you know, check it out, you know, this new I got this new order in, check it out or whatever. Um, okay, having said, finally, this is just a little anecdote um you know that i play all kinds of computer games and stuff like that on live streams or role-playing games or sci-fi games or world war ii games or whatever i play a bunch of games on the computer there's a game that i've loved and i even have a hat patch right here for it it's called xcom right that's that's the xcom patch right and uh you know what the website is for the new twitter it's x.com which is xcom <laughs> i was like when he, when uh when he renamed it to x i was thinking does he play xcom because it's x.com <laughs> he probably does because he's a science fiction nerd so he probably plays xcom Trying to get to Mars so you can find the Martians. Okay. Um, well, that's it. Thanks for watching. Uh, be sure to check me out. And I'm going to be going live here in just a couple hours. For uh, We're going to paint and just chit-chat about various nonsense. And I will see you in the next video.